The third problem on this clef test looks at two functions, f of x and g of x, and then it asks, what is g of f of 3? And so when you see something with this kind of notation, it's referring to composite functions. And the way that I think about these functions is that it's essentially putting functions inside other functions. And to solve something like this is fairly straightforward once you get used to it. You start with the inside and kind of work your way out. So to find g of f of 3, we'll first solve for f of 3, and whatever value that is, we'll plug that into g of x. So to find f of 3, we'll just plug that in anywhere we see an x in here. So we have 9 times 3 squared plus 3. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 9 is 81. And 3 to that gives us 84. And then so we'll take this value of f of 3 and we'll plug it into the function g. So in other words, if I rewrite this, g of f of 3 is the same thing as g of 84, since f of 3 and 84 are equal to each other. And then to evaluate g of 84, we just put 84 in anywhere we see an x and g of x. And so 3 times 84 minus 2. 3 times 84 would be 3 times 80 is 240, plus 3 times 4 is 12, 252 minus 2. And so our final answer is 250.